Welcome into the Chiefs Report. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. You can follow me on Twitter at HGrahamNFL, and of course, subscribe to the channel. It's youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. We're going to get into a mailbag here, hashtag Chiefs or Super Chat, to get your questions on the show. We'll go ahead and start with Nick's question here. Do you think Mahomes will be back next week? Obviously, this is the topic uh, coming out of the AFC Divisional Round game against the Cleveland Browns. Patrick Mahomes played pretty strong in that game, but he left with a concussion. So we're all wanting to know if Mahomes will be back for the AFC title game. I would lean yes. He was tweeting after the game. Hashtag any, anything is possible. That was a good sign for Mahomes and the Chiefs. We'll see. Concussions can be serious, but there's also different levels of concussions. Like, is it a mild one? Is it a major one? We'll have to wait and see. Quick turnaround, game next Sunday. But I would say that it's likely that he's going to play next week. But I wouldn't say it's like 100%. I'd probably put it at 65 70% right now. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, the good news is he didn't take a major hit to the head on that concussion. I thought it was more of a neck injury, but they did diagnose it. So we will see what his status is. Obviously played well in, uh, in the three and a half quarters he did play. 255 yards and two total touchdowns. But if he can't go, you know, Chad Henney projected to start. Uh, we'll see if uh, Matt Moore would get any reps during the week. But outside of Henney's interception in the end zone, I actually thought he ran the offense pretty well. And the Chiefs went over the Browns, 6 of 8, 66 yards, and that bad pick. So we will see if Patrick Mahomes can go. If not, expect Chad Henney to start. Will Mahomes play versus Buffalo? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I'm going to speak it into existence and type Y for yes. We'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. So let me know in the comment section, will Patrick Mahomes play against Buffalo? Type Y for yes, type in for no. We'll get your, uh, we'll pin this comment and you guys can make your answers right there. Damien's next up on our mailbag. Would Taylor Heineke be a good replacement as second string? I gotta tell you, I thought he played pretty well uh, for the Washington football team against Tampa Bay and the Bucks. Uh, in the wild card round just, you know, a week and a half ago or so. I wouldn't hate it. He's young. He's He's got some savviness to him. Obviously, the Chiefs, you know, have to make decisions on Henny and Moore, but they're getting older. Both those guys are over 35 years old. Jordan Tamu was signed to a futures contract. We'll see if maybe he has a chance to be the backup, but I'll be curious to see what Washington – thinks of Heineke they might give him a chance to compete for that job in Washington because we don't know what's going to happen with Alex Smith and Kyle Allen moving forward they've obviously moved on from Dwayne Haskins that's interesting Damian I don't hate that idea Taylor Heineke definitely did some good things in his playoff game for the Washington football team oh here's a juicy one J.J. Watt to the Chiefs this offseason this is very unlikely for a couple of reasons one the Chiefs are pretty uh calorie uh uh, salary cap uh, uh, restricted right now. You'd probably have to trade Frank Clark to make that happen. And two, I don't know if uh, trading for Watt makes that much sense at this point. He's older. He's had a lot of injuries in recent years. He was mostly healthy this year, but I do think that it's possible that we've seen the best of J.J. Watt. I think he's on the decline here. Still a good player. Still a great guy as well. I love J.J. Watt, but I would put this at less than 5%. I don't think that's very likely, Zach. I appreciate the question, but I don't think J.J. Watt will end up with the Kansas City Chiefs. So continue to get your questions in. Hashtag Chiefs or Super Chat. We'll answer as many as we can. In the meantime, get going at BetUS. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs Bet. Use our promo code Chiefs125 to get that 125% deposit bonus. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs Bet. You can bet on the championship games this weekend, including the Chiefs against the Bills, so go check that out. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs Bet. Get that 125% deposit bonus when you use promo code Chiefs125. All right, Brett Scott coming in hot. Hashtag Chiefs. More instead of Henny if no Pat. I'll tell you what. If Chad Henny looked shaky after that interception and the Chiefs had still won, I would say, yeah, I think this is fairly likely, but – you know what? Give Chad Henney credit. He made some plays late in the game uh, to ice the game, had the nice scramble. Uh, Ch you know, Andy Reid trusted him on fourth and short to throw the ball, which was surprising to me. I would think Chad Henney would get the start. I personally would like to see Matt Moore. I love what I saw from him last year when Mahomes uh, was hurt and inactive. We'll let you guys answer. Type CH for Chad Henney, MM for Matt Moore, but 
I think we'll see Henny if for some reason Mahomes can't go, but I do think Matt Moore will get some first string reps. I do think I don't think they'll enter that game putting it all on Chad Henney. I think they'll want both of these guys to be ready to go. I would guess Henney would start, but if he's shaky early, throws a pick early on or something like that, Matt Moore could get an opportunity. So who should start if Mahomes is out? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. MKTV, what were your thoughts on that touchback call? Um, it was the right call in terms of a touchback. Now, obviously, the, the debate was, should that have been helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact by Dan Sorensen? That's one of those tricky ones where both of the guys are diving for the pylon, right? Like, Dirty Dan's trying to make a play. He's diving. By definition, probably should have been a personal foul. It was helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. But at the same time, Higgins is lowering his helmet and diving as well. Higgins played well in that game, by the way. But Dan Sorensen... He just makes plays, man. Now, should that have been a penalty? Maybe, maybe not. By the rule of the law, probably, if I'm being completely honest. But Rashad Higgins shouldn't be extending the ball either. Like, that's kind of on him at the end of the day. So that's a tough one for Cleveland. But, you know, if he just doesn't extend there, he's inside the one-yard line. They probably score on the next game or on the next play. And, by the way, that play, in a lot of ways, proved to be the difference in the Chiefs' win over the Browns in the AFC Divisional Round. Get subscribed to the Kansas City Chiefs Report. We're putting out videos every single day for you guys, so hit that big red button. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV. We cover the latest Chiefs rumors, news, and a whole lot more. So hit that subscribe button. Don't miss any of our coverage here on the Kansas City Chiefs Report. Ruthless Monk is next up. Frank Clark needs, a rest needs restructuring ASAP. No sacks against a third-string tackle. It has not been a great year for Frank Clark. There's no way around it. He didn't play that well last year, but he played great in the playoffs. So I thought, oh, maybe playoff time he'll ramp it up. You're right. Jedrick Wills went down. Their backup went down. Frank Clark only had two tackles in a TFL. He's getting paid to do a lot more than that. Hopefully he plays better against Buffalo. I thought he had a few pressures. He was getting some pressure, but he's just not getting home. And uh, you don't pay a guy $100 million to get pressures. You pay a guy $100 million to get sacks. And be fair, Chris Jones, who played better in this game, hasn't been his best season either. So – Hopefully Frank Clark and Chris Jones step it up, and these guys are going to have to if Mahomes for some reason can't play. So hopefully Clark steps up. I do think restructuring his contract could be a possibility this offseason. Sansana, will Willie Gay be back? And if yes, what does it mean for our defense? I don't know. He, he was kind of questionable leading up to this game. He obviously did not play. I don't know how much it actually means. I think Anthony Hitchens and Damian Wilson will continue to be your two primary linebackers, uh, at least for this season. Long term is the more focus here. I think starting next year, Willie Gay's got to be a starter. I like what I've seen from him this year in limited work. They're not ready for him to be a primary player on this defense. Obviously, what it means if he does play is you've got more depth, right? Because they've been banged up at linebacker. So I'd like to see him play. We'll see if he can get healthy. Obviously, in 2021, Willie Gay will start to be more of a factor. Who needs to step up versus the Bills? Let me know. Who needs to step up? I'll throw you a name. How about Traverius Ward? We've talked bad about him most of the season. He's been very up and down. We'll see if Breland plays in this game. But uh, I, I need Traverius Ward to step up in this game. He's got to play a little bit better. This Bills attack is very, very impressive throwing the football with Stephon Diggs, Cole Beasley, uh, Dawson Knox is a nice tight end. They've got some real weapons here. So I'm looking at that secondary. I think uh, Traverius Ward could be a guy to watch out for in this game. Hopefully he plays better in the AFC title game. Caleb is up next. Who is better, Stephon Diggs or Tyreek Hill? It's a good question. They're different type of receivers. I think Hill's more dangerous because he can take it the distance every time he touches the ball. Uh, Stephon Diggs is probably the better pure receiver, but Tyreek Hill is a fantastic route runner as well. For the Chiefs, Hill's the better player because he meshes so well with uh, Patrick Mahomes and his play style. But Diggs has been great with Josh Allen. I would personally take Hill because that speed you can't teach and it's hard to defend, but Diggs is damn good. Like, these are two of the top five receivers at this point in the NFL. I think uh, Stephon Diggs has established himself as a top five receiver in the National Football League with how he played in this 2020 season. So two of the best are going to go at it in this one. Obviously, the Chiefs also have Ty or Travis Kelsey, who's uh, uh, clearly one of the best uh, as well, best tight end, top ten receiver. He's going to throw him into that category also. But I'm excited to see Diggs and Hill – Go back and forth in this one. This should be a fun game. I hope Mahomes is healthy because we deserve to see this AFC title game. 
Who's the better receiver? Producer Sam getting this done on the fly. Type TH for Tyree Kill. Type SD for Stephon Diggs. Let us know in the comment section. TH for Hill, SD for Diggs. Who is the better wide receiver in the National Football League? So continue to get your questions in. We'll get one or two more here. Mr. Lettuce Gaming, will CEH play in the AFC Championship game? This will be something to monitor throughout the week. This is why you guys need to subscribe. We're going to have all of the updates on the Chiefs injury situation leading up to the AFC title game. Mahomes, Edwards Alaire, Watkins, Breland. We're going to have it all covered here on the Chiefs report. So hit that big red button and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for the questions. I think that was the last one on today's video. So I appreciate you guys for getting those in right there. We'll see you guys very, very soon here on the Chiefs report.